All right. Our first caller is Spencer from Oklahoma. Hey, what's up, Spencer? How can we help you? Hey, what's up, guys? How are y'all doing? Good, good, good man. Uh, so I guess I kind of have a, a three-stage question regarding programming for workouts. So I'm currently running uh, anabolic performance and aesthetic, and I have about two weeks left of aesthetic. And when I finish aesthetic, I'm going to be about eight weeks away from our baby's due date. So we're having our first baby in eight weeks. Um, So my question, my three-stage question is, the first stage is, how should I kind of maximize those eight weeks before the baby comes as far as strength gains? And then how can I transition from uh, post-baby and up to jumping into powerlift? Because I really wanted to do powerlift when I finished aesthetic. But I would hate to start it, and then you no know, eight weeks later the baby comes, and it all just kind of gets interrupted. This first baby, first baby. Okay. Ah, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, so a couple things. Uh, first off, uh, so you've already been working out for a little while, following the maps programs. By the way, how how have you? What's your experience been? How have your results been? Oh, it's been fantastic. My weight itself has not changed a whole lot, but I can definitely tell that it's kind of moving into more. No, my muscles have definitely gotten bigger and stronger. Awesome. Good body composition change. That's that's uh, the, one of the best things to accomplish uh, with a good workout program. Okay, so here's the deal. So your first kid, you have no idea what to expect. So we're all dads, so we can kind of clue you in a little bit. Uh, I think it's a good idea to start power lift uh, when you're done with aesthetic and go ahead and follow that program till your baby's born. After that, it's all up in the air, right? So yeah. uh, it's very unpredictable. Um, you're probably going to lose a lot of sleep. Depending on the baby, it can be challenging or whatever. At that point, really the best advice I can give you is to treat exercise as a way to improve your health and quality of life. Now, what does that mean? Well, it could mean that you only work out a couple days a week, or if things are easy, it could mean that you're not really skipping a beat. But really, there is no set in stone strategy because it can be quite unpredictable uh, with a newborn. Um, so uh, really, it's going to be about your attitude yeah. going into it. Don't worry about losing your gains and all that stuff because if stuff gets crazy, you're losing sleep, of course, you're going to take a few steps back with your fitness. But when things normalize, you'll get back very, very quickly. But really, the best thing to do, mm. use your workouts as a way to improve your health during that period of time which again may mean that you're not working out that much. Yeah, get all your heavy lifting in now, man. That's my my suggestion. <laughs> I like that. Honestly, I think that uh, I think you could stay the course as far as like what your plan was, which is you know moving on to power lift after this. I personally, the first few weeks for me, uh, it got harder later on. I don't know if you remember Sal for you because you just went through it the most recent. But I was actually still pretty consistent the first couple of weeks. It was more like around weeks four or five. Because all six. they do is sleep. The yeah, first at the weeks. beginning they're just they're attached to mom so much and and sleeping constantly. There's not much dad gets to do uh, to really help and support that much. It really started to kick in about a month later. So actually, even the good first three four weeks, I, I felt like I had kept my rhythm that I had going into it. Uh, it was after that where it got a little crazy. And my recommendation would be to, again, follow power lift as it just right afterwards as planned. Maybe you get a little bit further than you expect on it. And even if you don't, then the transition for me would be down to a program more like anabolic, where anabolic is programmed to where, you know, you only need to lift two to three times a week to kind of maintain the programming in there and be fine. It's full body. So if you miss one day of the week, it's not a big deal. You're still touching all the body parts. Um, If you have a really bad night's sleep and the next day you're lifting, you can just scale back on the intensity and don't go really heavy. So I find anabolic is one of the best programs to run when your your schedule is kind of up in the air like that because I think you'll suffer the least by missing a day or two running that type of a program. So that would be my suggestion. Although, there's, you know, we have no idea what it's going to look like for you because everybody, it's different experience. Yeah, you're in for the most amazing and challenging ride of your life. So, and it's hard to explain. Once you go through it, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. One more thing I'd like to add is you may want to, and this isn't going to be a huge game changer, but if your diet's good and you're doing a good job by modifying your workouts uh, based on maybe lack of sleep or whatever. You can also look into adaptogenic supplements that can help your body deal with uh, increases in stress. Uh, A good one is ashwagandha. It's a great supplement to take when maybe sleep isn't great, when you're a little stressed out because there's a bunch of new stuff happening. So that might be another 
thing that you can add to your strategy. Again, it's not going to fix everything by itself. It's not as if impactful as diet, sleep, and proper, uh, you know, properly applied exercises. But if those things are good, throwing some ashwagandha into the mix uh, might help your body deal with the, you know, the lack of sleep and the increased stress. Okay. All right. There you go, man. Cool. Hey, congratulations, brother. Yeah. 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 Enjoy. Thank you, guys. Awesome. You can hear the, <laughs> the, the like, you know, in his voice. The, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, what's well, going to happen, guys? And it's so hard to, to give someone that advice right now. We have eight weeks till it happens, and it, every household's different. Yeah. Like, I have no idea what, how much of the responsibility will fall on him. Mm-hmm. Um, I know all of our experiences have been different. So, you know, I know people that have maintained their work. That's their way they keep their sanity is being able to check out for an hour and go work out and they don't miss anything workout wise. And then I know other people that are trashed from no sleep and Mm -hmm. they're lucky to train one day a week. So, you know, you you have no idea what it's going to be like. And then also what kind of baby you have. Some people are just are blessed to get a baby who sleeps really early on and Mm -hmm. and they don't get crushed like some other people. Then you have the opposite. You got a colicky baby that's constantly screaming and crying and, you know, you never know what this person's going to get. So it's really tough to try and predict that and then coach you yeah. now eight weeks early. Yeah, my kid's a party animal. The kid won't, doesn't want to sleep. He just wants to be, be awake all the time. Yeah, I, I mean, I would say that, but the majority uh, speaking, they're not going to get as much sleep as they did before. That's no. just not going to happen. They're going to be stressed out because of, like, you know, putting fires out of, you know, whatever they have to do to try and help out. It's just going to come to the forefront, so your priorities are going to shift. Yeah, exactly. I was just going to say, like, it's, it's also very difficult to predict uh, how it changes his view of things. I've known people who were – their workouts were everything, and then they had a baby, and now you have this human that you need to take care of. Yeah, and you just—it's just not important anymore to to be so uh, fanatical about your workouts when you've got this right. this this thing that you love more than anything in the world. So it does change a lot. And again, it's his first kid. When it's your first kid, and I remember this with my first kid, and I also you know I saw this with Jessica with her first kid, which is my third. Is it's just it's so new that the unexpected plays a huge role. You know, it's like it's like I remember with my first, you're in the hospital, baby's born. You know, that first couple days, the nurse helps you, does the thing, whatever, and then they're like, you know, you leave. All right, see you later. Oh, Mm. I'm on my own now with the the human. You know, yeah. Yeah. And it's that that is a a big shock to the system when it's your first time. 